What's up, guys? This is Joe, and welcome to the first inaugural episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Yep, and this is going to be the first official full-length dual commentary Let's Play on the channel. I know we've had a couple, uh, you know, dual commentaries here and there, but this is going to be 100% dual commentary. Yes, every single episode will have both of us commentating on it, or yep. commenting on in it. In a game like this, you really kind of need two... Well, you don't need two people, but I'd say two people in a game this big. Yeah, yeah, see... So you're, you, like, you're combining two people's knowledge. You can work you know? off of each other, get yep. things done. All right, so, and also, this game is extremely long, like... This is going to be easily over 100 episodes. If we don't put one out, like, a one a day, we're going to be in this thing for right. years. Literally, okay. if we do any more than, like, one every other day, it's going to take a year. Yeah, because <laughs> we plan on doing everything. We want to do all the side quests, everything. Yep, and, I mean, it's just going to... We're going to try and make a promise, a pact, I guess you could say, to get one out every day. Yes, because we have to, unless we want to go on forever. <laughs> so. All right, so... I think we should start off the game with a, a funny little piece of yeah, here's history. A little, here's a little Easter egg for you guys, one of the earliest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to bore you guys with the credits here, so we're just going to skip straight to the, the funny part. Yep, see you in a minute or a second. And, uh, can you tell me what that says right, right. now? Executive <laughs> Produce. So apparently this game was created by, by vegetables. vegetables, fruits. Yeah, all, just, just <laughs> all food, basically, yep. Seriously, no matter no matter how many times I've seen that... It's just It's hilarious. ridiculous. I, I mean, they, they almost got the opening cutscene right. It's the last <laughs> title of the credits. I can't believe it. And the producer's a pretty big role. Yeah, the and executive producer. he gets named after vegetables. I wonder how the guy felt. I, if he even knows, <laughs> you think he speaks English? Who knows? I wonder if they even did that in the Japanese version. Well, I doubt not, it. I, think. No. I mean, if it was created in Japanese, so... Oh, oh, oh we <laughs> gotta skip this. I'm not watching that again. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna All start right. a new game here, and we're gonna let you guys watch the opening cutscenes. We don't want to talk too much over them. Yeah. Because they are pretty awesome. They're pretty awesome, and they're pretty, like, important, I guess you could say, for the, the storyline. Just, like, I don't know. Even games in general, this stuff was groundbreaking. Yep, so I want you guys to experience it just how we experienced it for the first time without us talking over it. So here it is, the first cutscenes of Final Fantasy VII. Alright, you can tell, like, if you were a kid in 1997, how amazing would this, this be? This is ridiculous. I mean, and I never noticed. Do you see that front Mako reactor? It's not on. Dang. I never even noticed Are you that. Sure? Yes, I oh. look at that. I never noticed that until now, and I've <laughs> seen this thing a million times. Just today. <laughs> yeah, like, it, I've but, never uh, noticed that. Dang, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. I didn't notice. But you can tell, like, it's flashing back and forth between the train, the cutscene, or the the scene of the city. Yeah, the transition is so smooth. It zooms right into this small part right of the city. The action. It's just, it's great. It's pretty good. So now, we are jumping off the train here. Taking control of the playable protagonist for the first time ever. He doesn't even have a name yet, but we all know his name. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so... And there's Jesse and Wedge down there. Dang, Jesse's yep. pretty cool. All I mean, right. Jesse's one of those characters no one really knows about. No one even Yeah, cares. nobody cares, but whatever. Right, but here's Barrett. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is not go on the train. Gonna go ahead and get these two potions off this body, and I always thought it was only... Well, first I'm gonna go ahead and put the battle speed up. Almost forgot. Yeah, but if... Appar apparently that one soldier has uh, two potions on him, yeah. and the other one down there has There's no. another one down there, and I always thought there was one per person, but apparently not... Why would they not stock their soldiers? Apparently, with, with they'll get, they're gonna they're gonna play favorites and give two potions to one guy, and let the other guy go out there <laughs> completely harm like unarmed. I mean, he might have a gun, but he doesn't have anything to heal Speaking himself. Speaking of guns, like they have guns, and we have a sword, and we are doing at least twenty million times more damage than they're doing. Oh, to us. it's called a sword. <laughs> right, we're playing traditional. All right, All right we've we got good. the edge. 
today. All, All right, so, so now we've got two ex-soldiers out of the way. Yeah, the first fight of the Let's Play is officially over. All right, and, this and we leveled up. Yeah, and we leveled up. <laughs> and you start at level six in this game. I, I went classic during a practice run, and I thought we were level one. No, forget that. All right, so... Well, here's Avalanche up here. Yep. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, all right? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He was in Soldier. He quit them, and now he's one of us. Didn't catch your name. All right, so now we get to name the, uh, the protagonist yep, here. Yep, and it's Cloud. Cloud yep. Strife. We're going to go completely classic and just leave it. Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud, eh? Um, no, you don't get to name him. No, <laughs> I don't care what your oh. names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. That's how I feel sometimes. Thinking, oh, Barrett running up uh -oh. here. What the hell are you all doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. All right, door slowly opening here. We're going to run and take down the reactor. Yep. Oh, ex-soldier, huh? Don't trust you. I like how they type or they talk. Like they would, like the yeah, they like the get words. his accent yeah, in the exactly. text. It's ridiculous. <laughs> if you push the directional button while pushing the cancel button to run, earlier marked X. You know, I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah, and they're trying to break the fourth wall. They did a little bit of everything in this yep. game. And I don't know. there's the Mega Reactor. This uh, this group we're with is called Avalanche. They're, they're a terrorist faction, pretty much. They're trying yep. to blow up these Mega Reactors to get back at the Shinra Corporation. You know, I don't mean to be philosophical here, but I couldn't you really call any terrorist uh, group a what did we what'd you call them? What a terrorist faction? Yeah, they were doing good. They're, they think they're doing good for the place here. Yeah, they have they have they have good intentions, but the way they're doing it they're, is kind of ridiculous. I don't want to give away too much, but what they do to the reactor kills how many hundreds of people? Oh, uh, all right. Well, we'll 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 go ahead and explain it like this. The the city of Midgar is split up into eight sectors, I believe. Yeah. What they're about to do takes out one whole sector. One whole eighth of the entire city. Like yep. what happens? Doesn't does the thing fall down? The what happens no. is that well, it blows up. I know. What yeah. What it what happens is for this attack we're doing right here is against Shinra Corporation. And Shinra retaliates by dropping an upper plate. On what does that do to the, to, like, the Avalanche group? Avalanche group? Like, what does that dropping the plate have to do with Avalanche? Wait, does Shinra He's do doing it in retaliation for what we're about to do here. And here's Wedge. I'll secure the escape passage. Concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez, we're really going to blow this huge furnace up? This will be something to see. Your reminds me of, like, OP from... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> oh, man, the Andy Griffith show is awesome. They got that theme song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how did we get to the Andy Griffith no show? Idea. Anyways, what we were saying about the Avalanche, Avalanche destroys this maker reactor, and Shinra retaliates by dropping the plate, upper plate, on one of the sectors. Oh, that, a different sector? Yeah, like, it, it, they drop the plate on the sector that Avalanche is based oh, in. Oh, okay. See, I so thought they, they tried were to kill the them. sector over the destroyed place. I'm like, what is that going to No, happen? no, no, no. They How were, is that going to hurt Avalanche? No, no, they try to drop it on the sector that they believe Avalanche's base is in, in but retaliation. Believe, I was just about to say, if they don't know where it's at, what good is it to drop it? Yeah, I know, <laughs> but that's what happens. All right, and by the way, the point of the, these reactors is to harvest Mako energy from the Yeah, planet. yeah, it's the Earth's energy. And... By the way, there's a discrepancy, or not a discrepancy, a disagreement between how to say Mako and Mako. Yeah, but we'll anyway. get to that in a second. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> no. After all, I did work for Shinri, you know. You know. The plant is full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. Indeed. I'm not here for a lecture, let's just hurry. That's it. You're coming with me from now on. So you can see Cloud is totally in this for the Oh, money. he's just nonchalant. He's a true mercenary. The thing is, like, the Avalanche group is concerned about the planet and its well-being, but Cloud's just in it for the money. He's in it for <laughs> money, man. All right. And what happens to every main character that believes that at the beginning of the whatever the media is? He always changes to care. Yep, they always grow a heart. Yeah, they grow a heart. <laughs> so, no big spoiler there. You know Cloud's going to grow to care about this group. Yep. All right, well, here's a Phoenix Down, by the way. For all you guys who are new to the series, Phoenix Down survive a down character. And also, what's kind of cool is, I'm not sure if it happens in this game, doesn't it kill an undead enemy? Yes, I think it Is there any places like that in this game? Or? Uh, I think there's some hidden areas we can go to, side areas, which we're going to be getting all of those. Yep. I know there's a place, Jesse says, push that button over there, by the way. Switch on. And by the way, pushing that button was impossible. Oh, man. Like, I couldn't get it at all in the practice. <laughs> Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life, and that'll be it. 
<laughs> what do well, I, I don't care. It's not my problem. Oh! <laughs> the planet's dying, Cloud. Uh, don't care. <laughs> the only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. Dang, he's pissed. Yeah, he is pissed, man. And oh, he's, he's so mad, oh, <laughs> he's gonna hit him. I thought he was walking up, he was gonna get big on nope, him. Nope, he just walked straight into him. But anyway, what were we talking about? The Mako? Yeah, the, the way you can pronounce it. Yeah, tomato, was, tomato. Some people say Mako, some people say Mako. I'm 100% gonna say Mako. I'm saying Mako. Just because All I... Right. If you say Mako, sorry. <laughs> yep, you're gonna have to deal with us saying Mako. It's not like a spiteful thing. I no, just... that's just how you say, That's just how I say it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. And sometimes another thing, Gil and Jill. Oh, sometimes dang, I always say Gil. I might, you might catch me saying Jill, even oh, though I'm pretty sure man. the actual pronunciation is Gil. Gil. That's what I always say. Jill is pretty much a person's name. Yep, I play Resident Evil. Yep. Hey, speaking of Resident Evil, are you going to be doing Resident Evil 2? Yes, I plan to do all the Resident Evil games. Resident Evil 2, 3, and hopefully maybe the newer ones if I get the chance. Dang, and also, one thing I wanted to know is if you guys want us to do side Let's Plays while this is going on, this will be an episode every day. Ooh, dang, I'm going to be... <laughs> right. The controls are going to Yeah, swing. I'm going to keep But, board. um, I was wondering if you guys would want other Let's Plays going on, because I could do Banjo-Kazooie, I could do the Dead Space 2 Severed DLC... I can do pretty much anything. So tell me what you guys think of that. Push the OK button in front of a ladder to grab onto it. After that, use the directional button to move up and down. And the D-pad in this game is how you play it. Yeah, it's, there's, this game came out when there was no analog sticks. There was no dual shock. For those of you who don't know, the original PS1 controller did not have analog sticks. It's a potion? So how are you going to play an analog stick, a game that didn't have analog sticks? Like, okay, pretty much, I have a controller, a USB controller. Yeah, we learned the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> Do not try to play this game with analog sticks. It does not work. Pretty, No matter what I've tried, it didn't work. But strangely enough, when I played it on my PSP, it worked with the analog sticks, so... I don't know. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> speaking, of that, yeah, speaking of that controller, I'm gonna go on a little tirade here while I save. We tried to plug in his USB controller to play this thing, and the, the D-pad wouldn't work... The buttons were sticking. Now I'm limited to a keyboard. I have a keyboard shoved in my gut over here on the side of the desk. Because if you can only see our setup right here, it's we have, ridiculous. We have a stack of games with a, a mic on top of it. Uh, Joe's playing on the keyboard off to the that, side. That was our previous save from failed attempts, by the way. Oh yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about the controller is, I've used it how many times? I did all of the Super Mario 64. Yeah, it play. worked fine. I did the Super Mario 64 and RPG Let's Plays with that thing, so I don't know what's going on with it. Apparently, just because we want to do a new game, it doesn't work. And by the way, I'm going to use Bolt on this machine enemy back here. He used Weak Against Lightning. And also, speaking of enemies and fighting, we're not going to show every single fight, because that would just take forever. Yeah, it's going to add like 50 episodes. Seriously, <laughs> not even kidding, it would probably add a couple hours to the episode. Yeah, so basically what we're going to do is, if it's a new enemy, we'll show it. If we're in a new area, we'll show the first couple battles. And obviously any boss fights. We'll yeah, yeah. Them. But if we're in an area and we keep getting into random encounters, they're getting cut. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys... I mean, sometimes I don't like cutting stuff out, just because I feel like it's taking, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, cheating the people. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm sure you guys don't want to sit, sit here and watch grinding, first of all. Yeah. Because we're going to have to grind, like it or not. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's the old way of doing and things. And speaking of that, we're going to cut this out. <laughs> all right, so we finished that fight. It was funny how that came up right after we Yeah, started. I know. But if you don't, if you watch the Super Mario RPG Let's Play, that game actually had the fights, the enemies on the screen, you know? Yeah. But this game obviously no, has just classic random, random encounters. Here's restore materia, by the way. This uh, gives you the cure command, which rejuvenates your character's HP. And we will have to get into that system later. But when we blow this place, this ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. <laughs> Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, be my guest. What oh the? Oh my! What's? Watch out! Dang, who said that? This isn't just a reactor. Who's I, I do not saying, know. Uh, what's wrong? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are, what's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Cloud's so soft. -spoken. Yeah, it's like, huh? He's a man of no, like little. <laughs> yeah, words. Man, man, a few words. All right, go. so we've got the bomb set. All right, bomb planted, and we should be encountering our first 
Heads up, here they come. Enemy, first boss <laughs> enemy of the game right here. It's going to be a giant red scorpion, and there's actually a little bit of a mistranslation again in this boss battle. And this see. mistranslation will actually make you die. <laughs> yes, it's very, very deadly. And the search scope, by the way, what he's doing right here is, is he can't attack your characters until he uses the search scope on them to find you. I never knew that. Yeah, so once he locks onto both of them, then he'll begin his attack. Can he attack, like, can he search one guy and then attack that guy and just not Pretty search sure. Ah, uh, he... He maybe he could. I'm pretty sure he oh, always. There. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm pretty sure he finds them both before he attacks, but apparently not. Dang, I never knew. I thought that was just like a random attack. There's an attack in Super Mario RPG called uh, Shredder, which I thought it never did anything until I looked it up, and it just gets rid of status like buffs. Oh whatever. really? Dang. So some attacks you just don't know, I guess. Yeah, I know for a while I thought Search Scope was kind of like the equivalent to Scan. Yeah. Where he was just finding our HP and stuff. Why does it matter? But I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so there we go. Uh, by the way, I used Big Shot there. That was uh, Barrett's Limit Break. Those are the ultimate attacks you can use once that Limit Bar fills all the way up. And to fill up the Limit Bar, just like you this. just have to take you damage. You just have to take damage, that's Is it. Is that it? the only thing that levels it up? That's it. You... Uh, speaking of leveling up, that's not what I meant to say. I meant, like, moving the bar up. But you can level up your Limit Breaks, kind of. You know, yeah. I get higher level limit breaks. And what I'm doing, by the way, is because unfortunately I used Cloud's limit break while the thing was raising its tail. I'm gonna have to go ahead and use a potion on Cloud because when a thing's tail is raised, it will counterattack. And that's kind of the mistranslation we were telling you guys about. Cloud actually tells Barrett when its tail is up, when its tail is up, attack. You're not supposed to. Yeah, like like I said, that will pretty much. Yeah, it, it's a huge counterattack. So that, yeah, that counterattack attacks both your characters. And I'm just gonna use this time right here while his tail's up to re rejuvenate my character's HP right yeah, here. So. Alright, there we go. That was quick, so now it's down. There's no, a boss in Final Fantasy VI, three for you US only players. Yeah. They, I think it was a like snail kind of thing at the beginning. I don't know if it was a snail. Yeah, it was, uh, when, when its it, name is... It, when, it sh when, when its shell, shell is yeah. up... It, when you can do a shell, you can't attack. No, no, no. If you what? attack it while its head is in the shell, it'll counterattack yeah, with yeah. Uh, lightning, I believe. Yep, that's yeah, it. yeah. I forgot. Do you remember the name of that thing? No. Dang. It's right in the very beginning of yeah. the game when you're going to the Esper's Cave. Yeah. Final Fantasy VI, by the way, is awesome, too. Yes, that game should have been the big breakthrough here in the States, I think. I mean, it's. It, was, it came out here. What happened? Yeah, it was, it was a great the thing game. Is, did that, I wonder if it sold well because everyone today seems to like it and love it. I think back then, Final Fantasy wasn't that big of a brand here in the States like it is now. Yeah, yeah, I can see. So that. they probably, you know, they it didn't get the marketing that this game got. I mean, when this game came out, Sony was pushing it for the PS One, and this was the game to get. This put Square on the map. But six, unfortunately, missed the boat a little bit. And speaking of like the previous Final Fantasies, was it Final Fantasy three that never came out here? It was Final Fantasies. Let me think. No, Final I'm talking about like it was never released on the PS One. Oh yeah, three. That's three. so annoying. By the like, way, like I have, I'm in the process of buying the uh, Final Fantasy one and two. The uh, what is it called? Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Origins. Origins, yeah, yeah. For the PS1, I'm getting Final Fantasy 4 and Chrono Trigger, which is called what? Uh, Chronicles. Chronicles. And then Final Fantasy 6. 5 and 6 came out on Anthology, Final Fantasy Anthology. Anthology, yep. But 3 is the to see. He just died. You didn't even attack No, him. he put his tail <laughs> up and died. There. Awesome! All right, well, there we go. We've got the first boss fight in the books. And we're leveling up both characters. Both here. characters have leveled up 8 and 7. You don't start at 0, thankfully. Yep, dang. All oh, right. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here. Barrett's just gonna calmly walk. We have a bomb. Ten there. minutes of detonation! You know, it kind of reminds me of a... I hate to say this. Uh-oh. Actually, no, I don't really care. Counter-Strike. Oh, you yeah. the bomb and running. Yeah, kind of like I Search and Destroy. I was actually gonna say... Yep. Yep, I there you go, I did it. Booty. I did there. it. We oh, have a booty reference in here. Oh, yeah. well, guys, you guys already know our love-hate relationship. Speaking that of that, April Fool's Day was yesterday. This is April 2nd today. And I didn't get fooled at all, except for one thing. There was an article I read that Black Ops 2 was going to be taking place in space, fighting back an alien like... Dang! But, obviously, that was an April Fool's joke, and Aww. I got thrown hard. That would be awesome. That would rejuvenate the series. Right I would there. love that game to death. That'd be so cool. I mean, I'm just tired of the drab military shooters. We've had enough of them. All right, and you can tell. I don't. Well, we cut that out, but you can see that the fights will actually take your time. You know. Yeah. Like the time doesn't stop when you're fighting. No, no, it keeps going down in the fights. I thought you had a little bit more time than that, but I guess not. What? Ten minutes? Yeah, I thought like, it was ten like minutes five. Is plenty. Well, anyways, here's Jesse over here. She's actually caught. Oh yeah. Cloud, you all right? I'm Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> My leg got stuck. <sighs> Thanks. 
That's all there is to that. Yep, and she's just gonna jump over him. I think, I don't know, I think you can actually let her die. I don't really know. Does she know. die or does she I just think, get out? I think if you don't save her, she'll die. Dang, and some, like, I saw you struggling to get on that ladder there. Yeah. Sometimes one of the complaints people have about this game is that it's kind of hard to tell where to go. That's how it is with a lot of games with pre rendered backgrounds. Yeah, but, but hey. They actually put in a thing where you hit, I think it's a select button or something. Uh, I don't think can't you can find my select right now. <laughs> I don't think you can even do it right now, can you? Well, maybe not, but it'll put up red triangles where the exits are to the stage, you know? Yeah, yeah, and on, and on ladders it'll put green triangles. Yeah, yeah, so it's not impossible to tell. But yeah, as we were saying, it's kind of easy to tell. I think I've never got stuck. Ever. No, I don't have a problem. I've, I've played so many of those Resident Evil games, I've, I'm a pro with this stuff. Yeah. All right, so now we have a little under seven minutes. You think we're going to make it? Oh, I don't know. We only have to get through, what, two screens? <laughs> they give you entirely, too, not too much time, but they give you way, way more than you need. Yeah, it's only the tutorial stage, so I guess they're trying to ease you into it. But yep. And didn't they, they did release some, bleh, did release this <laughs> on the PSN, right? Code deciphered, yeah. Um, what, my, I know, yeah, but anyway, we're talking about the PSN, Final Fantasy VII being on the PSN, how much does it cost? Like it's eight, like eight bucks. Yeah, it's like really cheap, but there's, <laughs> I got Final Fantasy VII off of eBay for like $40, which might sound like a lot, but really, even for a new copy, I mean, not new, if it was wrapped, it probably would have been how much? Oh, like, like 200, 200, 200 yeah. at least. But Dang. it wasn't wrapped, awesome cutscene. Yeah, my god, I'm surprised that Shockwave didn't take the other two out beside yeah, see, it. That Shockwave <laughs> went off the side it's of the huge. screen, it went through the city, but anyway, I bought Final Fantasy VII, and it was only 40 Perfect condition, misprint on the back, black label, 40 bucks. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now everyone get back. Oh, dang, are we putting... Are we doing more bombs? Isn't that enough? What are these, oh. pyromaniacs? All right, they're dead. There's... Are you oh my, me? they should have been torched. How in the world did they survive that Who blast? even knows? It looks like he just got burned on his butt. Oh, Classic slapstick. That wedge? That's Wedge. Dang. Biggs and Wedge are in every Final Fantasy game. Alright, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey. Hey! If it's about your money, save it till we're back at the hideout. Cloud, how can you think about money right now? Hey, it's all about the dollars of this man. Alright, so I think we need to end the episode there. I have no idea how long this episode is. Man, been. this has been a great intro, though. We've just taken down the first of eight Mako Reactors. I mean, that's, shouldn't, that's uh, Avalanche's goal. They want to take them all out. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this Let's, the first episode of this Let's Play. I want to see you guys back for every episode. And really, I have nothing more to say other than thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, guys.